she's whiffing. Woof. Tell him. He said, don't come near our caboose. We'll eat you up. Is that what you're going to do? There she went. Bernadette's going to eat up somebody. You had to go woof at them, and now we're here in the caboose. Welcome to the caboose, y'all. My bed's not made. Oh, yeah, I did make my bed. <laughs> Bernadette, were you woofing at somebody? Hmm? Who was you woofing at? Monsters? Did you eat them up? You're ready to go to your rug, aren't you? I think she went to her rug. Oh, there you are. All right, I got the fan on. I got to take his shoes off. Bernadette, I'm going to have cake. You can't have cake. Chocolate is not for doggies. Just wanted to show you a little bit of my night routine when I come home. And I come out here to the caboose, and Bernadette comes in when she's not woofing at things. And we come in, and we have, sometimes we have a snack. And Bernadette's on the rug, <laughs> and sometimes she forgets to move to one side. So I'm turning on the lights, because I know you all can't see anything without them. you sighted people. So I'm going to turn on the lights so you can see the inside of the caboose here. This is my dining room area. So I'm going to light a candle here in a minute. Here's the guest bed over here. And Bernadette, she usually lays here on this rug. Don't you? Either that or you go under the table. If it storms... She hides under the desk over here, which is quite entertaining. Because then I can't find her and I forget she's under there. So, anyway, I have my devotional altar over here. Um, I have cake. I have milk. Milk is extremely important. That's part of my routine. I come in and I have this little end table. I'm going to move it over here. I move this end table over here by my bed up against the door and that's where I put my milk after I've poured my milk and then I put my remotes there for my TV and I watch a movie. So that's what we do. And we're going to do evening prayer and night prayer at the altar here and that'll be it. So may you all have a blessed night. Um, it's been a good day today. I went to the Kentucky Railway Museum where I am a member and we had a going away party for Chesapeake and Ohio 2716 and that was a lot of fun. I'm a proud member of the Kentucky Railway Museum and um, it's good to have celebrations like that and to be present. Um, it's not just about the trains themselves. It's about the museum members. They're a second family to me. I have grew up there. Uh, my family, we became members of that museum when I was in first or second grade. So I'm 33 now, so that's <laughs> a long time. But we need to remember our history. And that's one of the reasons I love trains. They're a connection to the past. If we don't know our past, we're not gonna know our future. So, uh, anyway, that's just where I am with that. Same thing with church. That's why I love the Latin Mass, the Eastern Byzantine Mass, and all the other um, divine liturgies of the Eastern churches. They're all old and beautiful and are just as relevant today as they were back in the Middle Ages and before, just like old trains are just as relevant today as they were when they were built just like my caboose. Even though my caboose is retired, it's still being filled with love uh, by being my home. Wouldn't trade it for anything. And, you know, it's an important piece of history too. Just a little repurposed. <laughs> so, Bernadette likes it. She gets really good sleep in here. 
So may you all have a blessed night. Have a great day tomorrow. Catch up with you later.